in this lecture we will learn about integration and integration as inverse of differentiation till now we have studied differentiation and we know how to differentiate different functions okay here we say that okay integration is inverse of differentiation so for example d by dx of function x so y is equal to x if we differentiate it we know that we get the derivative 1 okay so the opposite or inverse of this will be what will happen if i integrate 1 dx okay then if i differentiate something i get 1 so if i integrate 1 i should get x okay so this is something so that's why it is called anti derivative okay so it's the inverse of derivative and this we will see with some examples so we know that d by dx of x square is 2x very simple isn't it y is x square so dy by dx is 2x now i say that d by dx of x square plus 5 okay so now my function is y is x square plus 5 so dy by dx is now again 2x okay d by dx of x square plus c is also 2x for c is some constant fx is x square plus k where k is another constant differing from c dy by dx is 2x okay now we said that integration is the inverse process of differentiation okay so this example if we take so if we will say that okay if i integrate 2x okay and we write like this so this is the symbol for integration 2x and dx is for this is the way we write integral f of x dx which is saying that i am integrating fx indefinite integral so now this will be we say that okay because when we differentiate x square so we get 2x hence when we integrate 2x we should get x square that is fine isn't it but here also we know that okay different integration is the inverse of differentiation so we can say that okay when i differentiate x square plus 5 then also i get 2x hence i can say that okay integral 2x dx should be equal to x square plus 5 okay someone can say okay when i differentiate x square plus c i get 2x so i can also write integral 2x is equal to x square plus c and similarly x square plus k so which one is correct x square x square plus 5 if i integrate 2x dx so what will it be x square x square plus 5 x square plus c x square plus k what will it be and the answer is it will be all of them so this is basically if we integrate this 2x dx we will get something like x square plus c where c can be any constant it can be 0 it can be 5 it can be c it can be k okay so this is why we get a family of curve okay which is represented by integration so this inverse process you go don't get a unique curve but you get a family of curve okay which just differ by a constant okay so if y is dy by dx is what it is 2x then y will be x square plus c okay this means that it will be some function like this okay it may be something like this 
parallel i didn't draw it very well but it will be some parallel curves so which are only differ by a constant okay so let's first try to solve a few examples by knowing that okay integration is inverse process of differentiation so let's quickly look at some of the differentiation answers okay derivatives so if i differentiate x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so this comes out to be x to the power of n because if you differentiate this it will be n plus 1 x n and by n plus 1 so this cancels out and it is x to the power of n so what i can say so if i will integrate xn so i will get x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus some constant c because of the thing we saw last time okay so it gives us a family of curve that's why we add this constant d by dx of sin x so when we differentiate sin x we get cos x hence when we as inverse when we integrate cos x we should get sin x plus some constant okay if we differentiate tan x we get sec square x so if we integrate sec square x we should get tan x plus c okay the derivative of sec x is sec x tan x so if i ask you that okay integrate sec x tan x dx so i know that okay because when we differentiate sec x we get sec x tan x so when we integrate sec x tan x we should get sec x plus c similarly d by dx of sin inverse x this is root under 1 by 1 minus x square so when we integrate 1 by 1 minus x root under 1 minus x square we should get sin inverse x plus some constant similar with log of x okay and here we should note that n is not equal to minus 1 okay so some properties also to help us solve the problem first one is like differentiation if you have sum of integrands like fx plus gx if you integrate them you can separate them integral fx dx plus integral gx dx some constant fx integrated so you can separate out the k and integrate fx dx okay so now we are ready for some simple examples first example integrate 3x square plus 4x cube okay we see there is a plus so we can write this using this property one 3x square dx plus 4x cube dx okay now we should see what will we differentiate so that we get 3x square let's see if we differentiate x cube we will get 3x square so integral of this is x cube plus some c1 what will we differentiate so that we get 4x cube so if we differentiate x to the power of 4 we get 4x cube so this is x to the power of 4 plus c2 hence c1 plus c2 is a constant which we can take as c another constant so this is x cube plus x4 plus c okay so this is done next example little bit intricate so x cube minus 1 by x square you have to integrate this seems interesting so we have some property like this that okay you have sum of some functions and you have to integrate i can separate them out but like differentiation there is nothing told here till now about the division of some function okay so what to do 
but we can see here we can write this as we divide by the denominator so this is x cube by x square so x minus x to the power of 2 dx like this we can write this one so this is and now we use this property 1x dx minus x to the power of minus 2 dx so what does this become what will we differentiate so that we get x so again if we differentiate x square so we get 2x but here it says that okay only x we need so what to do then we can say that okay if we differentiate half x square so what will we get so half into 2x so it is x so it means half x square so if we differentiate half x square we get x so half x square is the half x square is the integral of this minus so it will be now x to the power of minus 2 so we already have formula so if in, you integrate x to the power of n then we will get x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so using that formula directly so it will be x to the power of minus 1 by minus 1 and we will put one constant for all so this is half x square plus 1 by x plus c so this is the integral of x cube minus 1 by x square okay and you can do the opposite again to get if you are getting the answer so if i differentiate this so we will get half into 2x plus x 1 by x if we differentiate it so it will be x to the power of minus 1 so minus 1 by x square plus constant so you will get 0 so this is x minus 1 by x square and that's what here it is which you can write as x cube minus 1 by x square okay so last example we will take 1 minus sin x by cos square x okay so let's see this example so 1 minus sin of x by cos square x dx again this is a quotient so trying so it we can write it as sec square x dx minus sin x sec square x dx okay sec square x so when we differentiate tan x okay so d by dx of tan of x is sec square x so I can write that okay this will be integral will be tan of x and here we are not getting anything proper so let's see we can write this sin x by cos x and this as again one cos x we have which is 1 by cos x so sec x so this is tan x sec of x so sec x tan x so if we differentiate d by dx of sec of x is sec x tan of x okay so this is now we know that okay this is first integral is tan x minus this one becomes so sec x tan x so this is the derivative of sec x so this is tan x minus sec of x okay plus a constant so by this we see that okay these are the examples for how to do integral find integral of some functions and we use that okay integration is the inverse process of differentiation and that's how we get this okay so I hope you understand this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.